Hello Libra, welcome to the Whistling Hermit channel. And um, just before we started um, this video, I was looking at this crystal ball and uh, what I saw is an eye. An eye looking straight and at me. A single eye. And um, yeah, it's as if this eye was looking at me as if... Uh, it sees me. <laughs> well, let us see how this I will relate to. It's like maybe the message there is that uh, whoever this somebody is in your life, that and that energy that we will be reading right now with your energy, is somebody who sees you as who you truly are who understands you more than other people do. Okay, so what we will do now is a relationship spread. And uh, we will call it you, me, and us. Okay, now we are going to read the play of energies between you and another person. Uh, it can be a love partner or a romantic partner <clears throat> it can be a friend it can be a member of your family son daughter brother sister mother <clears throat> grandparents father uh, it can be also a colleague at work no? so <clears throat> the first person that comes to your mind right now will most likely be the energy that we are going to read together with your energy or if there's a specific person you would like to really know <clears throat> uh, right now, you, you, your relationship with that specific person, you can pause for a while this uh, video and then you can think about this person. And then when you feel you are ready, you can, res you can continue playing the video. Okay, now we're going to dedicate this card deck for you. So for your energy. And then this card deck we will dedicate to this person that uh, you are thinking of right now. And uh, just be aware that as we read through it, we will be trying to read, we will try to read the play of the energies between the two of you. So sometimes it's just expected that as we try to read through it, sometimes there might be a changing of the energies. So for sometimes even if we are referring to this card deck as you, Sometimes you would start to feel, wait a minute, I feel it is no longer my energy. It is the energy of the other person already. So there is that possibility of crossing over of energies. No. So you need to discern the reading with me and try to see how it resonates with your uh, present situation. Okay, now uh, we will start with your energy. Okay. We will lay down three cards for you. The first card is what you think of yourself. Okay. The second card is what you think of the other person. Okay. And finally, the third card will represent what you think of your relationship, the relationship between the two of you. Okay. So we adjust it a little, maybe a little bit lower. Yeah, okay. Now, this other deck of cards, let's shuffle it first. So the first card will represent what your other person thinks of you, uh, thinks of themselves. Okay, so the first card represents what the person, the other person thinks about themselves. And then the second card represents what they think about you. Okay. And the third card represents what they think 
of your relationship. Now, we're going to lay the middle column. Okay, for the middle column, there will be three cards also. The first card represents the strengths of your relationship. The second card represents uh, the weakness of your relationships. And then the third card represents the possibility or the near future of your relationship. Now this is a possible future only, so you can always change it. You can always change it uh, because you have the freedom of choice. Okay, so for your energy, what I feel here is that right now you feel that you're, you feel happy right now. You're a cup that is overflowing. You feel very much the presence and the generosity of the divine. When you look at it here, uh, there is a bird carrying a host no? and f placing it on, on the cup as if the universe is filling up your cup right now with the presence of the divine. Because uh, the host and the bird can symbolize, the bird can symbolize the spirit and the host can symbolize uh, in the Catholic faith also the presence of the divine. Now, uh, when the divine is filling up your cup, it's normal for the cup to overflow. And somehow that is what you feel right now. You're a cup that is overflowing. You could feel the generosity of the divine in your life. And somehow, because you are an overflowing cup, you feel that even the people around you are also benefiting from it. Okay. Now, uh, what do you think? In the second card is what you think about the other person, the person that you're thinking of right now. Somehow you feel that this person right now is a little bit quiet. Uh, this person seems to be spending more time alone. But at the same time, you feel that this person seems to be... Uh, well, there are a lot of things that it happen that is happening within them. Maybe uh, there are a lot of things that they are thinking about because you can see, as you can see here, the the car the water that surrounds the throne of the King of Cups is a, li a little bit wavy, a little bit disturbed, you know? and uh, somehow maybe uh, somehow you maybe when you the person that you are thinking of right now has a lot of things in their mind right now and it a lot of things in their heart uh, they are considering a lot of things in their life at this present moment but uh, they seem to remain calm and composed they seem remain to they seem to be facing these challenges with maturity and uh, a certain confidence as you can see here he's holding a a scepter and a cup and he's holding it with confidence so there is a certain uh, a certain confidence amidst the challenges that this person is facing right now and uh, there is a fish there so somehow you feel also that this person is also very close to the divine a person who is very spiritual someone who is also guided in making his decisions by the enlightenment coming from the divine so you feel that this person, amidst the challenges that this person is facing, he is strong and uh, very much spiritual and seems to be very much mature. Now, somehow, uh, here in the relationship, you feel that uh, the, the way you deal with each other is that you deal with each other with generosity. Uh, somehow... Uh, every once in a while, you, you you feel that both both of you somehow try to contribute as best as you can into the relationship. You see here, uh, the Six of Cups is somebody who does not only think of what of himself or herself, but also thinks of other people. So in a certain sense, there is a sense of giving in your relationship. So this is what you feel that is maybe 
it can be the ideal in your relationship or it can be what is existing in your relationship right now for you what is important in your relationship with this person is the generosity that spirit of giving towards each other so this is what you can see right now so it can be what is existing in your relationship right now and it can be something that you are experiencing right now it's as if you always want to give to the other person maybe it's because your cup is overflowing so there is that generous generosity in your part when you want to give to the other person but at the same time also uh, the other person also on their part also give back to you and at the same time also there is that sense of gratefulness between the two of you so i feel that in your relationship what you observe in your relationship is that when somebody gives the other is gracious enough to say thank you uh, gracious enough to show their appreciation and vice versa so it's a sort of like a, an equal give and take in the relationship okay now uh when i look at it here you know the the feeling of this person is that uh they are opening a new chapter in their life right now Maybe this person has left uh, a lot of has lived or experienced a lot of challenges in their life, and that they feel at this moment they are beginning to open a new chapter in their life, and everything is still a mystery to them right now. And what makes me feel is that they are very expectant of you. You see here, they are dressed. They are dressed formally, as if waiting for somebody. It's like waiting for somebody who is traveling by ship and this person is about to arrive you know? and uh, at the same time they are looking at a globe you know, which can be a crystal ball wherein they are also as they are anticipating the arrival of somebody in their life they are also looking inwards themselves trying to analyze so I feel whoever this person is this person has just finished a a challenging relationship maybe a painful one they just decided to they just closed a chapter and now they are opening a new one and i feel the new chapter that they are opening is this relationship with you now as they open this new relationship they are anticipating they are somehow uh, welcoming you into their life at this time because they are well dressed now you know how it is when you when you value the person who is going to visit you who is going to arrive in your life you, know, you prepare yourself you dress well you make yourself attractive so in a certain sense the energy of this person is like that also they are excited <clears throat> that you are coming into their life right now so this is what is uh, somehow they dress themselves you now they dress to the nines you now in order to welcome you into their life so they are anticipating you and it is possible also that they are also willing to join you with you so it's like they for some of you they would like to start this chapter by journeying with you because somehow it can be also that they are dressed right now because they are waiting for you to come into their life so that the two of you can journey together so maybe they are waiting for you so that together you can go out on a journey somewhere else okay so this is what i feel right now that they think of you maybe they think of you as a partner or a companion in this new chapter of their life and that together you are on a, like on a journey towards something new and somehow looking at the globe also is something like uh, they don't know what is happening so they're still planning for this new chapter planning on what will happen in the journey okay now what do they think of this relationship Somehow, when I look at the King of Pentacles, it's as if the Pentacle is your relationship. And it's sort of like, you, you see here, there is a lot of clutter in their life right now, which can also be parallel to the clutter of the wavelets in the sea in which this throne of the King of Cups is. No? So you, not, you notice that there are a lot of clutter in their life right now, a lot of things that they are thinking of. A lot of considerations in their life but they are at peace because they are holding this pentacle i feel that that pentacle symbolizes your relationship 
and it is something valuable that they hold on to and it brings them peace it makes them feel calm that amidst all the trials that they are encountering right now your relationship together gives gives them that hope that peace that confidence in order to face these challenges and somehow it's like here with the spirit of the king of cups you notice that also in this person you see the pose of them is quite the same now they are very intuitive the way they seem to be thinking of something you know? this one here they're also like very intuitive they are thinking of your relationship and at the same time they are waiting for you to journey with them into this relationship okay now what is the strength of your relationship i think the strength of your relationship is that you are grounded in accepting the reality that there are certain things in your life that you need to process in also maybe there is something in your relationship that you need to process also some things you you are aware of it because here the roots can symbolize that you are grounded you are grounded in reality you know what is truly happening no you're you're not your mind is not floating in the air as if oblivious of what is happening you know what is happening in reality and you know that in reality at this present time somehow being grounded no, is you know that somehow there are certain parts in your can be in your relationship and also in your personal lives that prevents both of you from flying and that you need to work on it and you need that and you realize that you cannot do it alone at this time you no know, you see here uh, they cannot jump or walk away because the roots are attached to the ground and they cannot also move because their hands are tied they have the wings but even if the wings will flap they will not be able to soar because they are also uh, shackled to the ground by the roots no? so in a certain sense there is a sense of helplessness and i think both of you are aware of that and that awareness is your source of strength because uh, for example if there is a need for healing if there is a need to attend to certain things when you are aware of it it's so you're already practically 50 percent 50 percent of the problem is about to be solved already uh, the knowledge that there is something that needs to be done already it's already a step forward towards healing or towards resolution of a certain problem so both of you are aware of it that you need there is something right now that you need to work in your in your life and maybe in also in your relationship that prevents both of you from flying and you, you know that you need to address it and i think also you have the humility to realize that you cannot do it alone that you need people to help you solve the problem so maybe for some of you you try to analyze also maybe uh, yes maybe the two of you can solve it together but there is also a possibility that because both of you are shackled you might need some other people also to help the two of you it can if you feel that there is a need for professional help then go ask for a professional help especially if it is related to your relationship the two of you maybe you might need a relationship counselor or a marriage counselor if you are married so in a certain sense you might need help from other people also not just the two of you because somehow <clears throat> the situation is quite limiting that uh, you might not be able to really solve that problem alone you see here uh, tied down tied, uh, tied uh, really tied around and then tied down also so even if the wings flaps you you, you cannot really soar so uh, there's uh, it's an important thing here is that i think the strength is knowing that you need help and the same time also <clears throat> what is the weakness of it no I feel that what you are addressing right now is something that has been present in both your lives and maybe in your relationship for quite some time already because both of you have grown roots no and I feel it is related to your relationship because the roots are intertwined and at the same time yeah you see even even the two of you the lower part are intertwined 
yeah it can be uh, that you yeah you are very much attached when it comes to to the the physical sense no uh, maybe you are uh, in a certain sense maybe codependent to each other and at the same time also mentally dependent to each other no uh, but somehow I feel emotionally detached uh, physically you are attached to each other uh, you need each other physically at the same time also uh, maybe you need each other also uh, to support each other psychologically but I don't know uh, there is well there are some branches that reaches out in the area near the heart chakra this one is more of the maybe the throat chakra and the head chakra here maybe in the lower chakras somehow the heart chakra is a little bit detached so there is a certain detachment from the two of you but uh, still there are some branches that try to connect with each other so it can be that at this time you are uh, separated I do not know try to see if it resonates with you maybe you are separated from from someone from this someone at this time but uh, one of you one energy of the two of you is trying to reach out you see here one tree has branches reaching out well the other one also has a, a branch that tries to reach out but you, you just couldn't touch each other it's as if yeah, you are emotionally detached from each other so somehow maybe that's the problem right now but I feel that you have been together for quite some time that you are interrelated in so many ways but um, there's something that maybe you need to work on in your relationship you are you seem to be emotionally detached there is a certain imbalance in it no um, maybe the presence of the divine will help you find the healing here but maybe also because of this one you you are aware that there's something in your relationship that you need to work on something that that shackles both of you and somehow when you look at it here there is also this one no uh, it's as if yeah you are attached to each other in the physical sense you you uh, you are drawn to each other physically at the same time also you are dependent on each other when it comes to making decisions maybe but there's a certain detachment in your hearts um, you know how it is uh, as if you uh, the hearts are separated okay I don't just take it as how it will resonate with you but that is what I can see so I feel that the weakness right now is that there are several issues that you need to work on together okay now uh, what is the possible future well you see this person um, trying to look closely at something the wheel of fortune no well somehow it says that well whatever challenges that you have right now these two will pass but I was looking at this person no? before I saw the word the phrase wheel of fortune is uh, as if she is uh, a little bit sad but looking at this whirling thing you know this whirling thing before her just near her hand as if she is trying to, to support this so I, I I feel that there will still be a lot of challenges that will be coming here you no know? it's not the usual wheel of fortune that we see wherein the, the will is really well defined now here is a little bit it's a little bit uh, sort of a little bit disordered no but you can see smooth spokes coming from it and there's a, a flower that is rising from it so I feel that amidst all the challenges that you will still be facing in the near future something beautiful will come out of it so yes you will still be having some challenges as you are having right now challenges and I feel these challenges has sort of like made you emotionally a little bit detached from each other you know? but you know that you need something to work on you are aware that there is something you need to work on in your relationship and you know that there will be more challenges that you will be facing in the near future and somehow you're a little bit sad also uh, because of these challenges that you are encountering but there is a certain gentleness also with the way you are treating the relationship you would see 
the, how the hand is gently trying trying to support gently this will you know that is quite uh, you know there are a lot of activities happening you now just like this one this this situation here with the king of pentacles and this one with the king of cups now there are a lot of challenges and somehow it makes you feel tired sometimes and it makes you feel challenging but then again when you look at it amidst this chaos there is a flower that is beginning to bloom so there will be something beautiful that will come somehow and uh, the challenge will still be there the challenges will still be there uh, it might make you feel sad sometimes make you feel both of you might feel sad or a little bit tired because of the challenges that you encounter but still you treat the relationship with gentleness and at the same time you, there's always that hope that something beautiful will rise from it so in a certain sense i feel that in at this present time where you encounter a lot of challenge you need the presence of the divine so that your will your hearts will continue to overflow and i feel it will come from you you need to make your heart overflow in order to fill up the cup of this person who is beginning a new chapter in their life they uh they are hoping that you will join you with them because maybe they see that you are a cup that is overflowing they see that somehow with you they will be able to have a relationship where there will be equal giving and taking and uh, they are yeah there is that promise also of but there will be challenges but amidst that challenges no and with the wheel of fortune it says usually the wheel of fortune tells us that whatever challenge you have these two will pass and a flower will soon something beautiful will soon come out amidst the challenges that you are encountering so this is what i can read from the cards right now and from the play of the energies we will try to end the reading with some oracle cards okay so transformation okay yeah i think you are both undergoing transformation right now you are overflowing it means that your inner life is deepening right now the other poor the other person is also undergoing transformation they are closing a certain chapter and they are opening a new one your relationship is undergoing a lot of transformation and you are aware of it and you are working on it no, so yeah you are in a process of transformation and here when you look at this picture uh, there is a person standing a shadow of a person standing when you look at it no? and there is light in the uh, crown chakra and there is light above them also so somehow yeah uh, to be able to maintain stillness and uh, to maintain balance in both your in your relationships and in your lives there is a need for the presence of the divine to allow the divine to transform you through the challenges and situations that you are encountering in your lives gratitude okay that sense of gratitude i guess yeah i could see it here in this energy no uh, we're in one when one gives to the other the other has that gratefulness that willingness to say thank you and the willingness also to reciprocate that kindness no uh, at the same time i feel there is a need for you to have that gratitude to the divine to recognize that the divine provides for all your needs no? when you look at this figure of this person her heart is glowing and also the face is also glowing it's like the person becomes more enlightened they are more aware of the providence of the divine and also the providence of everything around them you see all this all these creatures around them no? and they are very much composed and their heart is 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 glowing i feel that the glowing heart can symbolize gratefulness uh, gratefulness to all these beautiful things that are happening in their life so yeah gratefulness even amidst the challenges no? so yeah maybe that is an energy that we encourage you okay free spirit okay just go with the flow okay knowing that all these challenges will also pass these things too will pass just enjoy the experience and you see this person dancing 
just be a free spirit uh, go with the flow okay let go and let the spirit let go and let God go with the flow go with the the wheel of fortune just turn with the wheel of fortune and just take the challenges as they come and uh, remain on fire remain being a cup that overflows remain hopeful like these two of ones no anticipating that there is a beautiful journey that is will open before your lives no so this is what i can see for you right now libra i hope it resonates with you and uh, thank you for the likes and comments that you have given to the channel thank you for subscribing if you feel this will help your other person don't hesitate to share it with them and uh, i look forward to seeing you again next time until that moment may god continue to bless your ways